That was Jasmine. Said she wanted to talk, that we need to talk. Ooh, that shit sucks. Look, Dutch. Can I go? I'll, I'll be back in like 20 minutes. Yeah, go ahead. Thanks. Tom, 20 minutes. How was I? Good. Good, just good. Okay, you were great. All right? Hmm, great. Are we still talking about my dancing? You were great, okay? You were, and you're beautiful, and all those things you want me to say. Why do I hear a but? But I can't do this to Mary anymore. I, I can't. I, I thought you didn't care about Mary anymore. Yeah, well, that's what I thought, too, but I realized that I owe it to her, and I owe it to myself to give things another try, and I think you should do the same. Don't you start telling me how to lead my life. <laughs> well, maybe Tommy is right. Tommy's dull. He's all washed up. And so is Mary. Look, this is not anything personal, okay? I've just been thinking that... Thinking? Need... Yeah, I was thinking. Now, Dakota Blake is the great philosopher. Since when do you think about anything? Since I saw the pain I caused, Mary, okay? Well, you weren't thinking when you convinced me to cheat on my boyfriend. I just think that this is... Word of advice. Stick to looking cute and playing dumb is what you're good at. Hey, Dakota. What? We could have been something really great together. <sighs> Whatever.
Tommy. Hey, baby. You're all filthy. What are you doing here? Aren't you supposed to be at work? I, I had to leave. I couldn't stop thinking about the message you left me. You said we needed to talk, so I figured why wait till later? You know I have a class to teach in a couple of minutes. I could hear it in your voice, babe. Something's wrong. There's a lot wrong. But I'm not in the mood right now. Yes, what's going on? Look, Tom, save yourself the trouble. Go find yourself a good girl. Jazz, what are you talking about? I have a good girl. No, you don't. In fact, you don't even have me anymore. What? We're over, Tom. Move on, make yourself happy. All right, Jazz, I don't understand. Are you really that blind? Can't you see how much we've changed and outgrown each other? No, I haven't outgrown you. No, but you've changed. So what you're really saying here is that you've outgrown me. You know, I can't believe you after everything that's happened with the injury and everything. That's just it, Tommy, the injury. What the hell are you going to do with your life now? So that's what this is about? This is about money? Because now I'm not going to be some, some rich guy? You've outgrown me? I'd like to know where you plan on getting money from. That's a valid concern. We're not little kids anymore. All right, I'll open up my own garage. Great. What, that's not good enough? Don't you want to open up your own dance studio? That's different. Well, it's exactly the same. It's not just the job. It's, it's you. I don't know. Since the accident, you're just not Tomcat anymore. Well, the Tomcat died in that crash, OK? Well, then, so did the person I fell in love with. I have a class to teach. Goodbye, Tommy. James, found that file you were looking for. Nice. Very nice. Although, you know, I have to say I prefer paying letters just tits to those. Yeah, before or after reduction. Before. Nice ass. Yeah. Listen, I'm leaving now, so I'll see you around 6. Aren't you leaving? Don't you have an appointment in a few minutes? Yeah, but screw him. He applied, I said no. Now he wants to come here and plead his case. So? People do that all the time. Yeah, well, it's a little late for that, don't you think? Tomorrow's the deadline for admissions. Which is probably why he's coming. Yeah, well tomorrow's also when you, me, and two fine young ladies are gonna wake up on a beautiful cabin on the lake. You know, it took a lot for me to lure Mary into this weekend. So if I don't get down to the garage before it closes, we ain't never gonna get there. But Mon awaits us. What should I tell this guy? I don't know. Tell him anything. Tell him I called in sick. Tell him I'll apply again next year. He probably won't even care. He's a writer. He'll probably come here and be stoned or something. You know how those creative types are. So I'll see you around 6? Yeah, I guess. Uh, I gotta catch a bus. Hey, put a smile on that face. We'll get laid this weekend. I'm sorry to keep you waiting. It's just been a crazy day around here today. Very busy. Uh, how can I help you? Uh, my name is Dan Sutter. I have an appointment with uh, Mr. Jurgens. I'm sorry. Craig didn't come into work today. He's sick. And like I said, it's just been a crazy day. Uh, well, uh, I guess you can help me. Um, it's supposed to be me meeting with him to discuss reevaluating my admission to the college. Uh, I have all my... I'm sorry. All admissions go through Craig. But the deadline is tomorrow. I've been waiting for a week to meet with Mr. Jurgens. 
I have all my documentation. I have my portfolio. I, I, I deserve to go to the school. Sorry. Well, what am I supposed to do? Well, just because your application got denied right now, it doesn't mean you'll never get in. Well, what are you saying? Apply again next year. Next year? Next year? That's bullshit. Hey. Hi. What are these for? Do I need a reason? Can I just bring you some flowers? You never brought me flowers the whole time we've been together. Yeah, well, maybe I've changed. It's hard to teach an old dog new tricks. Yeah, but I'm not a dog. Then why'd you fuck Jasmine Torres? What? Jasmine Torres. Oh. You're serious. Don't make this hard on yourself. I found out all about it last night. It's okay, Cody. You don't have to try and explain. I've accepted it by now. I don't... I don't understand. How did you... The details aren't important, Dakota. Look, I don't hate you or anything. I mean, I did, but now I'm not even mad at you. I understand that if you have a desire so strong that you have to go through with it, even if it means possibly wrecking your stable relationship, you know, then you am I to tell you you're wrong for doing it. Goodbye, Dakota. Goodbye. No, Mary, wait. Look, I'm sorry, but I've changed. Maybe you have, but so have I. And the new us does not compute anymore. It doesn't make sense to be together. It does to me. Come on. Let's go out to dinner tonight. We can talk. I want to explain to you. I mean, I'm willing to work this. This is We're not even a possibility. I'm going away tonight to Vermont with a friend of mine. With a guy? Yeah, a guy. Four of us are going. That's great. You just break up with me and you run off with some guy. Oh, look at you getting all jealous after you banged some chick while we were together. It's not like that anyway. This guy doesn't expect anything from me. He knows we're just friends. This isn't right, Mary. This is right. This is probably the first right thing I've ever done in my entire life. Dakota, you're, you're a big dreamer. Do you know that? Dakota Blake, up in lights, in front of the screaming crowd. Everybody want to know your story. Girls you've never even met want to sleep with you. And that's what you want. You don't want me. I could never give you the amount of attention you want. Go make your dreams come true. next year. Yeah. Yeah, I'm here to pick up my car. That car? That car ain't going anyplace. I don't understand. My friend dropped the car for me and told me to be ready this evening. The guy that was working on it bailed on me. Oh, shit. I need that car. Sorry, man. We're real busy. I'll try to get it done for you tomorrow night. Oh, I need it tonight. I'm supposed to be going away. I don't know what to tell you. Shit, you should fire that guy. Is that a number for a cab? I'll call one for you. Please. James, it's Craig. Looks like our plans are off. Because my car won't be ready till tomorrow. I don't know. What do you expect from a mechanic? Fucking peon. Just turn the wrench. How hard is that? Grease balls ruined everything. Listen, I'll talk to you later.
his chivalry hand Hands trembling, my misplaced saying Sold to find what blew my mind I mean it looked like hair but it felt like rain Dump you too? No, man. Nothing like that. I'm Dan, by the way. Tommy. I think I've seen you here before. I'm in here once in a while. How you doing? Been better. I get you. Want a beer? You know what? Make it a Jack and Coke. Shitty day. I think it's going around. Any specials tonight on uh, food or anything? No. Nah, the only specials is ladies night. Ladies, when my day is going, I don't want to see another girl for a while. Girl trouble? You could say that. Gentlemen, I've just been dumped. Cheers. Hey, pal, you're not the only one. Me too, huh? You know what, Dan? Buy this guy's shot on me. Is Jack good? Yeah, sure, why not? Bring me one, too. Thanks a lot, man. You got it. I'm Dakota. Tommy. How you doing? Did you, say, did you say Dakota, like the state? You give two hippies some ass in the tent, they'll come up with some pretty strange shit. You know what, guys? I'm going to join you in this one. Cool. All right. Well, may tomorrow bring a better day. Hells yeah. I hear that one. <laughs> Shot at Jack, chased by a Jack and Coke. Looks like I'm in for a rough night. It's <laughs> even worse going tomorrow. How's it going? I'm good, Peter. <sighs> oh, man, public transportation sucks. Why, no car? No, nah, it's in the shop. Man, you know what I hate? I hate when you have an appointment or you're supposed to meet with someone at some time and that person's not there. It's like, fine, just waste my time. No shit, they just had a meeting today. It drives me crazy. I had an appointment at State, a deadline for admissions, and the guy wasn't there. That sucks. No phone call to let me know he called in sick, nothing. Now I'm totally screwed. What, that's it? Now you can't get into the school because this guy didn't show up to work? That's it, it's too late now. Oh, wait a minute, did you apply to college? Yeah, well... That's the thing. They didn't accept me. But at the time of my application, I didn't have all my documentation to crap. Thought I'd get it anyway, but they didn't accept me, so I was supposed to bring all my shit down today to meet with them. Prove that unacceptable material. I knew it would have gotten in. Well, there's no other schools you can go to. Not for what I want to do. Which is what? Screenwriting. It's the only school in the office. Yeah, State is a good school. I don't like that. Yeah, but it's expensive. Oh, yeah, I know. Luckily, I was on an athletic scholarship. Really? What did you play? I played baseball. I was a pitcher. 
the Tomcat? Holy shit, you're the Tomcat, aren't you? I knew I recognized you from somewhere. <sighs> All right, guys, maybe I'm an idiot here, but what the hell is a Tomcat? He's sitting right next to you, Tommy Maroos. His fastball was like a missile from the Tomcat fighter plane. 13 0 senior year, drafted to the Los Angeles Dodgers, had a 2.10 ERA first year in the minors. Oh. Well, how's your arm anyway, man? Well, it hurts every now and then, but uh, doctors really did a miracle with it. Why? What happened? Motorcycle accident. Oh. I'll never pitch again. Oh. Oh, that motorcycle is legendary. Senior year game on the state finals. You're scheduled to start. They tried stalling the game because you didn't show. Just as they were about to start without you, your Harley comes over the horizon, drives straight up to the dugout, full uniform, hop off, and walk straight up to the pitcher's mound. Oh, awesome. Crowd, absolutely crazy. You threw 19 strikeouts that game. Wow, you really know your stuff. Absolutely. You know, I, I always right, wanted to well, I'm sorry, but I really don't like want to talk about this anymore, okay? I mean, that whole persona, that... That image, it died in that motorcycle crash, and it was for the best. Oh, I'm really sorry. No, please, don't be. So, uh, you said you write scripts. Like, about what? I just finished one, actually. It's about, I don't know, life on Long Island in your 20s. <laughs> That's us. Who wants to see a movie about us? The writes better than anything. Make it interesting. Yeah, sometimes fact is stranger than fiction. So what about you? What do you mean? You said you were pissed because someone didn't show up or something. Oh, it's like I said, my car is in the shop. I need it for tonight, for the weekend. But when I get there, I found out the guy working on it, he decides to leave work and not come back. So now I have no car, my plans are shot. I told his boss he should be fired. You said that to him? Yeah, but you know what? I feel bad that I did. Screw him. I wish I would say to the people over at State today. I mean, listen, maybe the guy had something really important he had yeah, to do. Yeah, well, what did his boss say when you told him to fire the guy? I don't know, he just scratched his beard, nodded his head. It's weird. Sometimes you get so involved in your own life, you can seem to forget about how it can affect others. Anyway, there go my plans with the girls. Oh, forget about girls. They're all bitches anyway. Whoa. I can't agree with you there, man. Yeah, me neither. Oh, come on. You said that you'd just been dumped. Yeah. It was my fault, not hers. Why? I just met you, and now I'm spilling my guts out to you? Oh, come on. We're all having a shitty day here. Yeah, there's safety in numbers. It's like group psychiatry. So, what'd you do? She found out I was cheating on her. Oh, wow. Well, that's different. I mean, if Jasmine found out I were cheating on her, that would be different. But this just came straight out of nowhere. Jasmine? Jasmine, my girlfriend. My ex-girlfriend. I mean, she just called me up and said we needed to talk, so I left... I left work and, um... She just tells me, find a good girl. I mean, what the fuck is that supposed to mean, find a good girl? Maybe she was doing something behind your back and, uh, she felt guilty about it. Like what? <clears throat> I don't know, maybe she was cheating on you. No way. Not this girl, not Jasmine. Anyway, my ex-girlfriend, she's on her way up to Vermont right now, with a guy. I never would have believed it, man, but I think I really lost her this time. Wait a minute, did you say Vermont? Yeah, with some guy and a couple friends. I don't blame her, I really can't. I mean, everything she said about me was true. Listen, don't worry so much about it. Maybe she won't wind up going. Well, why wouldn't she? I don't know, maybe something will come up. Maybe this guy's call break down. Well, I just wish I could sit this new guy down and tell him a thing or two. What would you tell him? I don't know. I just, I want him to know what kind of person Mary is. What a truly special person. I mean, it sounds so corny and all, but I want that girl to be happy so badly. Why don't you just tell that to her? Because I can't make her happy. Is that so wrong of me? Being so into myself that I want attention from everybody else, but I don't have the time to give any back? Look, I don't know about you, but my girlfriend's, my ex-girlfriend is the same way. No offense. She's a dancer and, I don't know, she just has this aura about her like she's famous or something. She makes me sick sometimes. That's what Mary always used to say about me. Yeah, well, take it from someone who's been there and back. Fame is... Fame is like a beautiful car. You could have the fattest tires, flawless paint job, the sleekest body. Without that working engine, you ain't getting nowhere. Holy shit. I just figured it out. 
What? It's still not too late to apply for part-time students. I could do that. At least I'd still be going to school, right? Yeah. <laughs> Damn, this has been a strange day. No joke. Really strange day. Hey, can I get another one? I sure could use some company.